Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let the fun begin and welcome one and all to the Lady Death Majestic Statue Series Kickstarter pre-show. Yeah. What the heck is Coffin Comics doing now? Well, I'm here to let you know that we're going to be unveiling in less than one half hour the Lady Death Majestic Statue Series. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough. And I know there's a bunch of shenanigans going on in the Coffin Comics War Room. I am going to check the comments. I invite people's questions because this is a brand new enterprise. This is Coffin Collectibles, our brand new sister company. And we're presenting to you the Majestic Statue Series. So right now, as Jimmy Coffin is showing you, this is the Majestic Statue Series. And I have to be upfront and let you know that the classic edition is actually already being reviewed by the manufacturer for its paint. And in fact, after tomorrow, these other statues, the Scarlet statue and the Heaven Sent statue will be also going off for review. But let me check in really quick, see if there's any initial questions, comments, or concerns. Hello, Benjamin Witt. Dennis, how are you? Carmen, Joe, Robert, thank you for all your great work today, Rob, and Nathan Simmons. What's up, everybody? Ron Finley, welcome, my friend. So the premise is the Lady Death Majestic Statue Series are three statues. There's the classic edition, and this is going to be an open run edition, serial numbered, limited to statues ordered during our pre-order time frame. The classic statue, as I mentioned earlier, right now is already going to the manufacturer for review. The next statue we're offering is the Scarlet statue. This is the Scarlet edition. It will be limited to 300 serial numbered copies. And then the program is rounded out by the beautiful Heaven Sent edition. And this edition is limited to 200 serial numbered copies. The statues themselves will be offered individually or as a complete set. The complete set will be limited to 100 serial numbered sets with matching numbers on the statues. But that's not all, folks. If you heard, Coffin Comics did a surprise. Because you demanded it, we A, added the premier edition available to anyone who likes comics. So that is the Lady Death Majestic number one premier edition. It is a pinup book with 24 pinups by a who's who of artists you love and adore. May I point out that this entire statue series is based on the image by Richard Ortiz that we entitled Majestic. This is the original image uh, by Richard. And for the campaign, it has been reinterpreted, reinterpreted by Sanju Nivenjun. Uh, closer to alignment to the actual statue. I'm going to double check, see if there's some questions. Folks are saying hello. People are happy that we added the $25 comic book tier. Uh, I have Julian LeGooligan, who's also on hand to answer questions. Folks saying hello to each other. Thank you so much. So it's true. We added the premiere edition, but that's not all. We revealed to you that the actual statues each come with their own comic book edition, commemorative print, and metallic card. We really couldn't keep it a secret any longer. So as an example, the Scarlet Edition comes with the exclusive holofoil edition, the metallic card, and the commemorative print. This print is 11 by 14. This and other free bonus items we may introduce will all fit conveniently. Each statue will be serial numbered on the bottom, come with a matching certificate of authenticity. The statues will be offered unsigned or signed. And here is a mock-up of a signature plate that would come with the statue. I can tell you that in this case, each one of the signature plates will be 
a little bigger and the colors will match the actual statue, the red, the white, and the blue. So I'm gonna double check, see if there's any questions. Carmen likes that Ortiz cover. Yeah, that's a great one. Ace Bonnie is saying to you, what up, Cooligan? Hey, what's up? Ace? Can we get the old print anywhere? Well, Nathan, just put yourself in our hands. You never know what's going to go on in this campaign. I don't know. But yeah, that is the beautiful image that inspired this by Richard Ortiz. So the Lady Death statue, Majestic Statue Series is brought to you by the following very talented people. Our art director is Joe Allard. Now, Joe had... <laughs> Joe has art directed hundreds of projects, including the first ever Lady Death Sideshow statue. Then we went along and hired Tim Miller and Sam Greenwell. Tim was actually the sculptor on the first Lady Death um, Sideshow statue. And then we round out the creative team by adding Jason Wires, who did all the beautiful paint and the 3D. And again, the aforementioned Richard Ortiz and Sanju Nivenjun round out the team. And Adam Goldfein is the stills photographer and the videographer of all the videos that you see. So I am happy to open this up. Now, this is a new, unlike a Coffin Comics comic book campaign, this one's kind of different. It's really simple. There are eight rewards in total. And in reality, it's sort of four rewards. And the option is unsigned or signed. So name your poison. I guess nine rewards now. We're offering up the Majestic. Uh, the reason why we did that is the Fiends and Sworn Nation have spoken. There was an interest in being part of this campaign. This is a brand new comic, so I'm happy to uh, present it. I'm very excited about the comic itself. So let me see if there are any questions, comments, or concerns. Why start another Kickstarter while one is currently going? So, Jay, I guess this is what I'd like to say to that. We are hoping that Sworn Nation and Beyond would be open to the idea of Coffin Comics and Coffin Collectibles growing. So right now we're running a current La Muerta Kickstarter, which has appeal to La Muerta and her fans. And now we have the Lady Death Statue series, which could appeal to Lady Death and her fans. And we hope you will... Uh, let us grow into whatever direction the world wants us to grow. So that's why we would run two simultaneously because we feel they're two very different uh, projects and they have two different core audiences. So let me just double check for any more questions. Economics and comics. Wondering if I get one, would it be shipped to Dawn as a surprise? As a backer, you could tell us where you want us to ship your reward. And then... Hey, Chris, how you doing, man? And Chris Naples, Jay likes the clarification. Can we back it up on Kickstarter right now? Hey, Zeus, you will be able to do it in 21 minutes. Any plans for a quarter scale statue? Benjamin, stay tuned. Is Kickstarter allowing this? I don't think they allowed more than one at a time. Chad, let me address your question. So, um, this is an entirely different business enterprise. This is Coffin Collectibles. It stands out on its own as a completely different company, meaning it's a different limited liability company. It has a different bank account. So it's actually entirely wholly separate and fully formed. So yes, the project has been approved. And the other reason why we put it on this new uh, company is we know that this is going to take a little longer to fulfill than our comic book projects. Our comic book projects are filled within a 12 to 14 week window after close. Um, but this Kickstarter statue series will, we are promising that we will ship by May of 2022 that way. And we will not be offering another three dimensional project until that is fulfilled. Chad, I hope that clarifies that question. So ready for coffee and cons. Yeah, that'd be fun. Right on. Two markets, but lots of overlap. Jason, I hear what you're saying. Will we ever there? Will there ever be an opportunity to get La Muerta statue again? Well, there is a new La Muerta statue in the initial uh, positions of development from Quarantine Studios. It will be designed by Joel Gomez. That has been kind of talked about on Sworn Nation, but now you know too.
Carmen Kramer, I am happy that you're enthusiastic. I love it. It will be cool to have a Lombardi in a statue. I agree. Mark Woodward, there he is. Thank you. Jonathan's all about it. Jonathan's saying, take my money, Brian, you creep. <laughs> hey, now. So, again, um, what else is there to say, Jimmy Coffin, about this is uh, actually utterly simple. Well, what are all these? So, this one? So if one were to back the tier that has all three statues, not only would you receive all three statues serial numbered in matching fashion and the three comic books associated with it and the three prints associated with it and the three metal cards associated, you would also get the exclusive golden metal edition limited to 100 copies, the golden metallic card and the golden print that is exclusive and coincidentally, Every one of these comics, with the exception of the premiere edition, are exclusive to the campaign, tied to the campaign, will not be offered after the campaign, will not be repurposed, reused, recolored. That's it. So uh, it's all tied to the campaign, exclusive to the campaign. Let's see here. Micro says, it's also awesome you're adding comics into the lower tiers. Great ideas for the variety. Thank you. Does that mean no hell which statue this year after all? Eric, not at all. I heard some of your rumblings earlier on Sworn Nation, and to be clear, the uh, Hell Witch statue is coming along swimmingly, and we do expect it to be offered this year. It's based on the beautiful artwork of Mike Chrome. It's wholly separate, and that's coming from Quarantine Studios. So, yes, it is indeed coming. And for clarification's sake, the Lady Death Majestic statue series has actually been uh, in process for Coffin for Coffin for about three years now. We uh, did live photography and posted it several years ago, and we announced it's coming on this day uh, back at CrucialCon in September, where we said, it's coming. Let's see here. Kenny said he wished he could afford him, I understand. Uh, too sick for TV, does anybody need a kidney plasma? Any plans on a glow-in-the-dark statue? David, you always have excellent suggestions, and no, that is so technologically beyond our ability, I don't even know how we would do it. Uh, in one sense, for this particular statue series, we wanted, since it's our first product we were making ourselves, we wanted to make sure that we could deliver a statue that could arrive in, in one piece. So hence, more of a pose style as opposed to an action style, uh, a simple but evocative pose, uh, with you know good quality sized limbs so they don't break easy. We figured we kind of walk before we run. Ron Finley is asking, any chance of adding some color to the Scarlet version skulls on the base? Or is this the final paint design? Ron, I noticed that you said that earlier and I don't think that's a bad idea. I understand that we did the black on black. Um, let, me, let me let you know that we're taking that uh, suggestion to heart, but I can't say whether we are or we not. But I, I do think that's a, that was a solid suggestion. I noticed that earlier when you had mentioned it. Let's see here. Would love to see coffin plushies. Yeah. If let's see, what a Lynn Katz. Hi, Lynn. If if I can't get the set, how could I end up in final? Whoa, sorry, lost you. Let me get back here. Hi, Lynn. Darn it. Uh oh. So, Lynn, I'm not, I wasn't clear on what your question is, but this is what I would advise. If you have an interest in the set of three, please consider pledging as soon as you can. We actually have no way of predicting how the uh, campaign's going to go, where, what level of interest there's going to be. I don't know. So, um, I'd say sooner is better than later. So let's see here, we're at 6.45, remarkably, and that leaves about 15 minutes for, to, for the launch. So you were streaming for blah, 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 blah. Can we get a close-up of the base? So can you take a look at the two bases, please? And then Paul from Quarantine says we can add a burgundy wash to the skull. I think that's a good idea. Kenny says his local comic shop has been hooking him up. That's wonderful. When are we getting more six inch figures? I'd like Lady Death and her more iconic cover looks, like the candy corn witch. Well, we did do the multi-articulated Lady Death six inch 
And this Monday, we'll be offering for pre-order the Hail Witch action figure, which is stunning. Uh, hopefully, you would consider that one. It's wild. It's uh, where do you see the video? It's 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 great. <laughs> I'm super excited about that one. Jay Taylor, Hell Witch is coming later this year. That's right. The action, the statue is coming later this year. And so, poetic one was talking about coffin verse, graphic short boxes. You know, I think we had some sort of deal with. Uh, BCW for short boxes. I don't know that Coffin Comics is going to personally get into that business, but as far as short boxes are concerned, we did have a deal with BCW. There's all kinds of crazy uh, lack of supplies going on in America. Things related to like wood and pulp is is it's tough to get uh, supplies. Thankfully, you know, Brandy Sparkles, Francisca at Coffin Comics thought ahead, and we literally, <laughs> I kid you not, we literally have four containers of supplies because we saw this coming. So, and by containers, I'm talking like 20 feet long containers filled with supplies. How much for the Hell Witch statue? I can't speak for Quarantine Studios, but I see Paul Connor on the feed. And then Stormy Crow suggesting jewels in the eye sockets. And then Jerry Mendoza has been collecting your lady. Did you call us? We heard our name. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> we thought we heard. Brandy Sparkles and Francisca. We did. I think you did. We did. I, I don't know. We deny all of it. I don't know. <laughs> so, since we're having a conversation here, which of the statues are you guys and gals out there interested in? Is there any that you like or has some potential? I don't know. Let me know. I'm curious on what the feedback is. Jerry Mendoza, thank you for collecting the latest stuff since the beginning. Robert Zabarski says chicken wings are in short supply. And then L says we did a good job on the pose, which I really appreciate. Eric Hart, I'm just getting in. Is that a majestic fine art print? Well, you are seeing the print uh, of Eric of majestic. We're going to have to get that one back into print. It's actually the image up against a, a white border, so it's not a fine art print. Benjamin Witt says he's in for all three. Joe, oh, okay, so thanks for the feedback. So Rachel, Daniel's in for Blue and Scarlet. Chris Naples is going right for Heaven Sent. Nathan Simons is going for all three. Ashley Martinez, how are you doing? Going for the red. Ron Finley, I love the Scarlet the first time I saw it. And any chance of Funko Pops? Uh, not at the moment on Funko. Early, ah, early Father's Day. Bill, you definitely deserve it. Scarlet for me, says Andrew Vasquez. And then Mike Grove likes the classic. Thank you. Shooting for Scarlet, says Jim Berger. Tom's like all three. And then Jerry Mendoza says Purgatory would be a great statue. Yes, Purgatory is a great character. I'm unfortunately no longer associated with her. I actually haven't been associated with her for about 18 years. So it's a shame. She's my daughter, but she has another family. Let's see here. Stormy Crow. Stormy Crow. Wow. Okay, here we go. Victoria, all three, but she's going to be careful. Tough decision for Stormy. William going for the classic. Mr. E. Mr. E. He has his finger on the fresh button. King Scott's going for the classic. Right on, Scott. Jason Coates, hard to decide. Thanks for adding the metal covers. You're welcome. Yeah, that was actually always the intention. So uh, it's always fun to kind of, I, I got to admit to you, it's like fun unveiling all these secrets. We might have, we might have actually done it a little later in the campaign, but, you know, we kind of sometimes also go on feel. So we decide, you know what, let's just let everybody know, like, this is coming, you know, and you know, for the big launch, it's like, look, you're not just getting a statue. You could get, you know, holofoil, this, that, and the other, and they're all exclusive. So we couldn't really resist. So Joe, thank you for that. Let's see here. So Jesus is into the blue one. Jonathan for the classic. Ron Finley has the second side show. If all the statues sell out early, will the Kickstarter end early? That is fascinating. Well, you know, the blue one... Nathan is quote unquote open edition. Will there be a statue cauldron? Very interesting question. I don't know. I encourage you to stay tuned 
to all 30 days of the campaign to find out. Will the premier edition ship before the statues? Jay, it won't. Yeah, we're gonna make it fair so that it all come out at the same time. Uh, we're scheduled to be May of 2022. Uh, if we're lucky, smart, we'll do it before then. Let's see what else here. Let's see here. Daryl Jean Johnson, what's up, D-Dog? He's going for classic, Ed Hart. As an international backer, will the statues uh, be shipped from the U.S.? Uh, yes, they will be shipped from the U.S., when you get live on our campaign, we're going to be talking about the actual shipping and the estimated costs going to all the various countries. So please be sure to read that as well. We're not going to charge for shipping during the campaign. We will charge for shipping closer to the survey period, but shipping uh, currently is will be estimated for you to make the most informed choice that you can make. Let's see here. Let's see here. You guys are killing it. Scarlet, right on. Wait, is this a 30 day run? Brandon, yes. Will payment be due in full at the time of the Kickstarter ends? Yes, January, July 2nd. Uh, wait, da, 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 da. did you say the prints are 11 by 14? Correct, 11 by 14, they fit into the statue box a little more accurately. So let me give you an example. This is the, the normal 11 by 17. And these statues are 11 by 14. That is by design because it's actually going to fit inside the box. 11 by 17 would not fit inside the box. So all the goodies that we are going to reveal to you will fit in the box. It's eight minutes until we launch this Kickstarter and I'm still checking comments. Uh, my husband wants a shirt like yours. Your husband has really, really good taste. Let's see here. Can I take her to Sworn Fest if it ships first? Yes, but Sworn Fest is February 26, 2022, and we are promising to ship by May of 2022. So I want to regulate everyone's expectations. This is different than a comic book Kickstarter where we can turn things really quick. This one's going to take a little longer, but we promise throughout the entire process to be in communication and show you the entire process and keep you completely up to date. All right, Brandon, you do have 30 days. You will not be charged until the end of the campaign. Sworn Fest is indeed in February. This is like NY. Yeah, it's like the New Year's Eve countdown. I'm so darn excited. You're darn right it is. And yeah, okay, here's a shot of the shirt. It is pretty red. Got to represent. <laughs> will there ever be a swimsuit or naughty version of this statue? There is none planned. I'm going to be completely upfront with you. These three statues are the only currently planned variants. Uh, that's it. And then we're going to move on to the next. I already know what the next project is, but I'm not saying. There's Troy Hudson. That's right, Troy Hudson. Coffin gets it done. We are on it. Do we ask to have them signed? I have a couple of prints and comics with your signature. We're going to offer the statues two ways, unsigned or signed. And... How we're going to sign the statues is using a signature plate. The reason why we're doing that as opposed to signing the actual statue is it's a very, very practical reason. To take a statue out of its box, unzip it, sign it, and put it back becomes a, a, an actual ordeal, respectfully. So hopefully you'll understand this fair compromise where we're actually going to provide the plate, which you can display either that way or that way. In each one of the signature plates, will be color matched to the actual statue. Folks, we're getting so close. We have six minutes to go. Here it is. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so Michael Stevens is going with the heaven sent. So Ashley, yes, uh, each statue can be signed. Uh, Brandon's asking, is Hellwitch next? Yes. Just got here. What are the statue pricing? Rob, I'll show you. For the classic edition, which is not pictured here because it's actually uh, being reviewed, it's 280, and that's an open run edition. We estimate it at about 500 statues. The Scarlet edition is limited to 300 serial number statues and goes for 380. And then the Heaven Sent edition is limited to 200 serial numbered editions, and that goes for 480. Sworn Fest will be great. Yeah, Mike Johnson, it'll be great to see you again. We need a sexy coffin comics hell witch statue. You will get it. It's coming. Yeah, quarantine's doing it, and we're going the distance. So 
On the Hell Witch statue, it'll be clothed and then topless. So she is a fantasy character. I'm always surprised that there's not more topless char fantasy characters portrayed that adults can purchase. So we're doing that. And, and same with the action figure, actually. Um, she's clothed and then there's a, the topless variant. Um, for four minutes. Not sure if you meant to leave that spoiler, but you just made my night. Well, there you go. Is it a metal signature plate or paper? The signature plate is paper. Um, and Chris likes the signature plate as opposed to a sign. Great. Well, look, everybody, we are getting so close that what I think we should do is go over and get ready with the coffin crew. Uh, I'm going to bring one of these statues. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to bring my beer. All right, everybody, get your, these guys, look at, like, I'm here working, right? What are these guys doing? I'm here working. What are these people doing? Hey, everybody. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> You're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so, How am I supposed to ship things if you knock me out? Well, they can do it for you. All right, what kind of time are we looking at here? So we have, so let me set the scene, everybody. This is the Coffin Comics War Room, and this is the Coffin Comics Crew. Let me roll it down. You got the one and only Julian the Hooligan. Greetings, everyone. Nick Napalm. Our secret weapon, Jeff Fang, his evil son. <laughs> he, we knew him when he was like two and a half feet tall. Now he's like seven feet tall. That's true. I can that, attest to that. Right. You're, you're a witness to that. And then we have Fearsome Fabian. Howdy. Uh, we'll call him Mario the Mad, the one and only. We got Moonshine Mel in the house. Uh, uh, bonus Fry, Dakota Reese. La Presidenta, Francisca, and of course the one and only Brandy Sparkles. What shirt do you have today, Brandy Sparkles? Brony. Coffee brony. now. Brony. She's, a, she's a brony. <laughs> Dude, you're All right, so how are we doing? Shirt. We are inside two minutes of the launch of this new Kickstarter. We are here with Jimmy Coffin. How you feeling, Jimmy Coffin? Feeling good. Feeling excited. Uh, but this is, new, this is new territory, right? This is so new. Uh, yeah, we don't even know what, what's going to happen. So it's all up to you guys. We'll see. Is this what the, is this what the people want? Do they want coffin collectibles? I hope so because I know the plans that Brian has set forth here upon us. This is the coffin age of coffin comics. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is so exciting. I just want to see what happens when we launch. And then we're going to campaign on this every day for 30 days. It's going to be wild. It's going to be great. We're going to see if we can get more people joining the Sworn. We're going to see if more people want to get in on this. Lady, that statue is gorgeous. It's, we'll see if these things are going to sell out. How quick are they going to sell out? Is it going to make my job easier? Is it going to make my job harder? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. That's what it's all about. Uh, can we talk to Francisca P. How is she feeling? And I might point out that we just... We're one minute or under. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. Okay, who's got, who's got a, uh, a countdown clock? Oh, oh, oh. So we could count it down to like a minute. Get, get to, you got 48 seconds. 48 oh, seconds. Oh, here, we go. here we go again. <laughs> it, it does not get easier. <laughs> it's like it feels brand new, man. I mean, I've, I've been like kind of like, oh, oh, oh. So here we go, folks. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling, Hooligan? I want to smoke crack. I'm so nervous. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, count us down. 30, 15. Uh, thir so 25. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. How are you feeling, uh, Francisca? I am so excited about this. It's a new adventure for Coffin Comics and Coffin Collectibles. And we're inviting 15. you all to come along. Yeah. Together, let's count it down from the 10. Oh, my God. 10, 10, 9, 9, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Let's get that up and let's see what's up. We are live. We are live. We are live. We are live. Let's see what that translates to. Hooligan is hitting. Notify me online. He's like, let me find it. Go to Discover. There we go. Thank you. Somebody. I found it. Yep. We're at. 1,530. Yes. Dude, go to upper right. I got it. You want to see it? Yes. I got zero. There we go. Zero. Five thousand dollars. Six. Seven. Six. Whoa! Oh, it's going fast. Yeah. 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 Thirty-two seconds. Forty-two seconds. Forty-two 
two seconds. That was faster than the lady got kicked. 20,000. Yeah, 20. Oh my God, you're holy you're, cow, we're going. 22. Whoa, wait, what? what? 23. Click it, dude. There it goes. 23 dude. is still going. 20. Oh, no. oh, oh, holy cow. Whoa, okay. All right. Holy cow. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is insane. Wow, look at it go. Thank you, people. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Do it, do it, do it. Oh my gosh. Sword Nation is mighty. Do it, do it. Holy shit. Sword Nation. Let's do this. Let's make statues. Let's do it. Let's do this. I need more beers. What? What? Oh my lord. I, just, I gotta let you know something about Fabian over here though, man. You're, <laughs> you're an instigator. What? 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 Wow. What? What? Oh, just shot oh, his oh, Here we go. There Take it. Oh, there we go. 60K. 60! It's two minutes into this campaign. Oh, my God. Oh, my, God. Oh my Lord. I'm going to start. Drink it. Drink it. Open the glass. Open the glass. There you go. Chug, 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 chug. That's when Brian and I put up the whole poisoning. Oh, man. Here we go. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Go, 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 go. 67. Holy oh, man. Holy. How you yeah. feeling? Wow, this is amazing. It's like giving birth to a child. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you speak from experience? 69. 69. This is insane. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One of them. Nick, how are you feeling, Nick? Uh, how are we doing with that upper tier? What's going on? Anything sold out? Oh, well, um, nothing sold out yet. Actually. Okay, good, good, good. Well, let's see. <laughs> Holy mackerel! Okay, all right, everybody. How's everybody feeling, Francisca? Woo! Uh, my heart. Oh God! <laughs> no, we're kidding. I need another drink. <laughs> oh, there's there's, there's going to be some drinking happening here. Oh yeah, folks. Authentically, we really had no sense of how this was going to go, and here we go. Thank you so much for getting behind this project. This really opens up a lot of opportunities for all of us together at Coffin Comics through our collectibles division. It's remarkable. I, I don't know what to say. I, I'm blown away. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, I mean, this this is incredible. I, I got to be honest. I wasn't sure what to expect coming into this one. This was very last minute for me. Yeah. Um, when I heard about what this was, when I looked at, at the statues, I was like, this is crazy. This is awesome. Um, and of course, you know, Fiend Nation hasn't let me down, hasn't let Brian down. Nobody, uh, you guys, you know, swarm to the black. You guys are awesome. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How, how is it possible that we're approaching that number in that period of time? Jimmy. Unbelievable. Four and a half wow. minutes. Four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah. Four and a half minutes. How's everybody feeling? How do you feel? Amazing. Uh, need more alcohol. He needs more alcohol. Oh, there's always. Oh, you feel like. <laughs> I'm hungry. Some of us are more excited than others. <laughs> Our shop dog is less excited about all this stuff. That's right. Is it possible that we will hit the 100 mark within 10 minutes? I don't know. Do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it under make 10 it minutes. Happen. Under 10 minutes. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. There's only four come on, come left on. of the heaven statue unsigned. Wow. Four. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Ray, I'm watching. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're going to yeah, we have to like we, we have, have to juggle, to juggle, juggle between, juggle between okay. the rewards and the add-ons. Right on. So get ready for that one. Yeah, so we know that let's say heaven sent, for example, is limited to two hundred overall, but we're trying to balance between the signed and unsigned. 91,144 okay. backers inside five minutes. Sworn Nation, you are on fire. Thank you. We just really, really 
weren't sure, didn't know, who knows. Hooligan, you seem to be feeling good about this. Oh my God, this is this was so unpredictable. We didn't know what to expect, and now didn't seeing all this, expect. wow, um, this is beautiful. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Holy cannolis! <laughs> Francisca, you know, now that you're heading up this new division, uh, and you know, we've been working behind the scenes on this for over a year. Is there anything you want to say to everybody, or how are you feeling? I'm still feeling as great as I was feeling before. <laughs> um, no, this is just, this is really amazing. Brian and I absolutely love 3D items. So we've always loved action figures, especially lady death action figures. We've loved sculptures. So to be able to bring the coffin um, rigor to, to these 3D items, to get them to you guys, it's, it's what we've been hoping for and working towards. So we love Swore Nation and we want to make sure you guys get the most beautiful products within a great amount of time. Six minutes in, everybody. Unbelievable. At 96,000, 152 backers. Hooligan wants to say something. I want to see us hit it before 10 minutes. Come on, we're close. Whoa! We're close. Let's do this. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Yes, yes, yes. Keep going. Put us over the top. Put us over the top. Come Put on. us over the top. <laughs> One more time. I'm not sure they heard you. Put us over the top. <laughs> Come on. Come Put on. Come 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 on. Amazing collectibles. This is the one. Let's go. You come on. Do it in three minutes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. You're almost there. Come on, baby. Step your knees. Whoa. Come on. Here we go. Come on. 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 This is the one. This is the one. Want to hit it under 10 minutes? You deserve it. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself to all three. Yes. Yeah. Ah! Two Whoa. minutes. Can we do it in two? Can we do it in two? Can we do it in two? Come on, you're almost there, people. The hype is real. Seems like an eternity. <laughs> Come on. Woo. It's warm in here. Eight minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes. What? Nervous wreck. All nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the only that, one? That's the writing, right description. Wreck. Woo. Whoa. Whoa. Going, going, going. Whoa. Wow. I think you need a shot, Holly Bell. Uh, okay, we're going to set up. Line them up. Wow. Julian, you didn't even have to show your nipples. I know. <laughs> wow, and it was getting close. It was getting close. You <laughs> need your nipples for the FedEx guy. Okay, I'll we'll do it tomorrow. No, 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 no. So fast. When is he? Still inside of 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. May of 2020. Faster than a flash. Kickstarter? Yeah, man. Cool. Oh, holy cannoli. up. Yeah, these are the ones you're pledging for. Amaze balls. Amazeball. It's been at least two years in the making. Literally at least two years in the making. For fun, let's jump down and look at the comments uh, let's do it. On, our, on our live. I don't know if people are still on. All right. A lot more here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ron says, my answer wasn't specific. What were you asking about? Hang on a second here. Okay. Congrats, 100K. Wow, you know, isn't that crazy, everybody? Wow, just back to Scarlet. Thank you, Jonathan Myers. Back at number 131. Yeah, it's truly remarkable, everybody. I just... Oop, do it, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> do it! That's right, congrats. Yeah, everybody, amazing. Wow, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. So great, thank you. Unbelievable. Only so, 10 Scarlets left. 
Yes. So what does Jenny. this mean for Coffin Comics? So this is amazing. So this is well, it's amazing. Historic. Behind the scenes, it actually green lights a couple of other cool things that I think you guys would like through the years. So yeah, it's amazing. It's really um, it just opens up a whole new thing because you know we get to present collectibles and three D items in a manner that I don't think other people would have thought to. We, I think that for sure we're going to take things into a domain that people just haven't predicted. Oh, so, so, oh, so amazing. Yeah, 10 Scarlet's left. Got to make sure that Nick is kind of rearranging things because, you know, we know that Scarlet's limited to 300 overall and Heaven sent to 200, but there's the signed unsigned phenomenon. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, so this is just the fuel for, for you, Brian, and Coffin Comics to do, yeah, like you said, all those things you've been planning to do that. It is. Now you can't, now you get, you cut out the middleman on Coffin Again, Comics. Again, because our relationship you know, direct to you, which has been nothing short of a, a miracle. You know, we all get to enjoy what we do. We love making this stuff for you guys. We're so grateful that you like what we do. I mean, really, we, we don't take it for granted. Carmen Sakara blow up dolls. I don't know if we're gonna do those. <laughs> Hubby just told me we got both classic and scarlet. Dennis, thank you for backing. Eric got the uh, heaven sent sign and scarlet sign. Robert says, just, just for Jeff's statue. That's actually next. All right, let's go back to the team, see where we're at. All right, folks, we're back. And, you know, I think it's uh, part of the coffin habit. We're probably going to have to do a shot. So, yes! shot, 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 We hit 110, I'll do a second shot. Actually, I'll do five <laughs> shots in a row. I'll do five shots in a row. I know you will, but I'm encouraging you not to. You need to drive home. Correct. Oh, I'll be able to drive. No. Real Great. good. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up. Roll again. One. Be responsible. Two. Be a responsible five. drunk. <laughs> What are we drinking tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like a moonshine kind of night. Oh, yeah. oh, Coffee Comics is fueled by the official fiend inebriator, Dennis Purish. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Thank sir. You, and tonight, and I just keep coming. Oh, no, I actually chilled some apple. Oh. There it is, right there waiting for you. Oh, it's oh, a mini fridge. Oh, yeah. oh, the apple. Oh. It's the apple of my eye and my gullet. You are the apple of <laughs> Everybody be at Sworn Fest? Yeah. It's the coffin age of comics, and it's only that way because of you. This is the millennium of coffin. I'm scared. <laughs> You're scared. You better pack them boxes good, man. Try to make it. <laughs> I found moonshine with Yeah! Did you hear the siren call? I did, I did. I got it from down the hall, so I scared to come down. Well, that's right. We're going to have some Coffin Comics moonshine made by the official fiend inebriator. He really gets it. Um, what do we got? How do I shut him up? <laughs> <laughs> so it's really, it's super exciting to see in real time as, you know, folks on Sworn Nation were given feedback and we listened to the folks. And yes. We, so that that's why this is, these kitchens are just incredible that, you know, it is, truly is us listening to them. So Sworn Nation truly is the... Uh, oh, you're taking yours and you're pass out? Pass them out? They are no, the I sure. just want to pass them out. All right, yeah. please pass them out. I could that's right. Them Sworn Nation truly <laughs> is, are the bosses here. Moonshine Mel just tried to disappear with all the moonshine. You know, Happy Fabian came in with a tray. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Fabian, you almost did hopscotch for a second. Bye-bye. Like, so happy. Okay. He's like, oh, shine. Your wife's going to be like, oh, you can't whack that anymore. Who's, who's else is getting it? <laughs> oh, <I'm scared. laughs> Thank God you live well, down the street, these boys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you old enough to drink? Yes. I think so. He's 22. Yeah. This is almost 22. Almost Wait, 22. have you ever had moonshine? Uh, hang on yes. one sec. Anybody else? Down, no, 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 no. <laughs> so close my uh, Hang on. Mel. Oh, wait, hold on. Are you, Jimmy, you in or out? No. Okay, cool. Uh, Anybody else? Okay. Okay. I'll drink Jimmy's then. No. <laughs> <laughs> Take one for the team. <laughs> Two down, three to go. <laughs> no, no, one ten. <laughs> one ten. Yeah, dude. Yes, that's amazing. 
15 minutes in. That's too Wow, you, you guys are so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thanks this is this, right, this is for all everyone. All right. Well, here's the thing, everybody. Thank you. Here we are. Coffin Collectibles is launched. We are a small business in North America, United States of America, in the American Southwest, Arizona. Loving it. We all do what we love to do. It's not always easy, but we love it. Thank you so much for your, your, your love and your attention because I know there's just a million other choices out there, but somehow or another, you know, your hearts and our hearts find a way to connect. So I would like to say without further ado, people are like, what are these lunatics saying in the back? <laughs> Randy's drunk. I'm like, I'm like immature. I'm like, he said fart. I said heart, not fart. Heart. I didn't say I didn't say our farts are connecting. Your heart may fart. I don't know. <laughs> Let's put them up, everybody. To the sworn nation, without you, we are nothing. It has never been truer than it has been tonight. So without further ado, put them up. Yeah, this one's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> well, you'll notice that there's not a, there's still a lot left because. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, everybody. This is ridiculous. What are we like 10 or 15 minutes into this campaign? This is amazing. 18 minutes. Let's keep going. This is it bodes well for this campaign. This is actually the most ambitious project Coffin Comics has undertaken. Uh, it's crazy. In conclusion, is there anything you want to say, Hooligan? Everybody, um, we didn't know what to expect from this. And again, you guys surprise us every time. So thank you very much for the love, the dedication, and just the constant uh, just celebrating with us. So we appreciate it. And anything you have to say, Nick Napalm? Thank you, everybody. You guys rock. Right on. Jeff. This is uh, a secret weapon, Jeff. Secret right? Weapon. So what, what can I say that hasn't already been said? Uh, Sworn Nation, you guys are amazing. And, you know, like Brian said, without you, we're nothing. And we're super humbled by this. Thank you. Keep rocking. That's right. How about you, young gun? Literally, yeah, I agree with that. Thank you, guys, for yeah, right you know, on. There everything you go. support. Fabian. Fearsome Fabian. I'll say thank you to the fans. It's now... I have more work to do. <laughs> Mad Mario, next we're generation. Ready. We're ready to get these to you quickly. Long live coffin collectibles, right? Hell yeah. yeah. Bonus fry. Thanks for keeping us moving. Like, <laughs> seriously. Presidenta. Thank you for making all of our dreams and hopes come true. Okay, don't ask Brandy. <laughs> oh, but, oh, don't forget, folks. Brandy oh my God! Ready to mingle. You're welcome. What do you have to say? <laughs> that. Okay. That's what I have to say. But what do you really have to say? Go Thank on. you, everybody. We love you and appreciate you. Sparkles. <laughs> and I'm not single. Yes, you are. Lie like a ball on the floor. Three naces, four naces. Thank you so much. I, I just want to. From the bottom of my heart, I love this. I love working for you guys. I love working for the Polito's Coffin Comics. This is a dream come true. Every day I wake up, I pinch myself because this is uh, so incredible. Oh, uh, I hate to be so uh, you know gushy right now, but it is true. Without you guys, we're nothing. So thank you so much. Uh, this bodes well for Coffin Comics and the future of the Polito Empire. Long live Coffin Comics. Woo -woo. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, in conclusion, I just want to say, you've been great. We've been the Coffin <laughs> Crew. <laughs> Sworn. Holler at you later. Bye bye. bye.
Wormfest, 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 the global gathering for Coffin Comics fiends and the Swarm, featuring exclusive parties, artists, signings, commissions, panels, beer, food, coffee, alcohol, borders of HQV2, trading posts, CGC, friendship, community, camaraderie, shenanigans, insanity, and more, more, more. Plan ahead. Be there. Tickets and details on sale now at coffincomics.net slash swarmfest. Presented by Coffin Comics. Swarmfest, Swarmfest. February 25th through 27th, 2022. Mesa, Arizona, USA. Swarmfest.